So look at all these amazing, amazing ingredients right here. I mean, ground mustard, paprika, salt and pepper. I've got uh, some onion powder and garlic powder. We've got some uh, basil leaves and thyme leaves, some onion and garlic, ketchup, a little bit of paste right here, and, a, and an egg partially a beat up right there. If yeah, that isn't an amazing set of ingredients, which they'll all be in the show notes below, uh, you'll be able to see exactly how much of those we're putting in this meatloaf that we're going to smoke today on this Weber Smoky Mountain. So I went ahead and got this thing preheated to about 200. We're at about 200 and almost 275 degrees. Right here we're approaching it uh, about 260. That'll be perfect. Uh, that's about the temperature I want between 250 and 275. We're going to throw these ingredients on there, but, but before we do, you want to bring the flavor out of that garlic. And so let me bring your attention over here to the Blackstone. And you can do this in a pan if you'd like, but we're just going to throw it right on here. Because this is one of the ingredients that we're using in this meatloaf. But anytime I use veggies in anything, if you can just go ahead and saute it, you'll get that flavor out of it just a little better before I put it in the uh, dish. Uh, so I'm going to saute this for just a few minutes. And while that sautes there, I'm going to put that on low so it don't burn, hopefully. And then I'm going to go ahead and start adding the rest of these ingredients of hamburger meat. So let's just go ahead and start incorporating those in here. There's the ground mustard, paprika, salt and pepper combination, onion powder, garlic powder combo, basil, thyme leaves. Here, two tablespoons of some a Worcestershire sauce. That egg, just throw that right up in there as well. Got about a tablespoon, I believe, or maybe a little more of tomato paste. About a half a cup of ketchup. If you don't want the ketchup, don't add it. It's a southern thing. Now, we're just going to go ahead and mix that together. Let me get my gloves on and mixed up. Want to get it mixed well, but don't want to overdo it either. And we're going to go ahead and just throw those right in here now. If you don't have the time or don't want to do this step, you can put them in raw, but that's much better. Promise. I promise you that's much better. Now I'm just going to mix that nice warm onions in here. That's about a half an onion. About three cloves of, cloves of garlic. And again, about two pounds of hamburger meat. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put this in a loaf. I've kind of put a little olive oil on that grate to uh, hopefully help it prevent from sticking. And we're going to put this on here. Now I've already got it preheated like I showed at 275. I put some charcoal in. I went ahead and lit it and then poured the charcoal right up on top of the hot coals right up on top of it. Let it preheat. Added water to the water pan cleaned, put the grate on, oiled the grate, and now all I need to do is create a loaf out of that meat, and we're going to throw it on here. Now, I don't know how long this is going to take. I'm not going to say because I'm always wrong. If I say two hours, it'll take three. If I say four, it'll take six. So we're just going to cook it to 160 degrees. Before it's done, we're going to be putting an amazing sauce together on top of it as well. And bam, look at that. Now, it's not perfect. I just did it by hand, kind of molded it together, not real tightly, didn't use any device, didn't use any molding equipment, and I think it looks amazing. Let's get that top back on though. It'll take it a bit, it's gonna have to reheat up just a little bit, but it'll get right on back. You can see the temperature starting to climb. Climbing pretty quick actually. I've got the vents on the bottom open and I will close them if needed, but uh, if it kind of holds between 250 and 275, 
I won't mess with those. Even if it pushes on up close to 300, I probably won't mess with those. We're gonna let this thing cook. I am gonna go ahead and get a probe, temperature probe, and put in here a wireless one so I can monitor the temperature. We're cooking to about 160, and then when we get to about 160, I'm gonna show you an amazing sauce. I'm gonna to put together some brown sugar, some spice. We're gonna pour that right on top at the end, let it cook for its final few minutes uh, before we serve. And uh, it's gonna be great. So smoked meatloaf right here on the Weber Smoky Mountain. I wanna go ahead and welcome you into the Oaky Smoking Kitchen. Uh, my name is John in Oklahoma, where I do all my cooking right outdoors all the time. If you enjoy that type of content, be sure and subscribe so you don't miss anything and click that notification bell. I'll see you here in a few minutes. So we have reached 160 degrees on our cook. And here is the ingredients for our sauce. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. We got ketchup. Now in here, I have some white vinegar and brown sugar already mixed up in here. It's a little brown sugar mixed with that. We've got some onion and garlic powder. And here we've got my SPG, all-purpose seasoning. Which, if you want to make my SPG all-purpose seasoning, all you got to do is check the description below. There will be a link to show you exactly how I make it. And uh, if you uh, don't want to go there, just go to okiesmoking.com slash SPG. That will take you straight to it. And we're going to stir this. I also want to mention that uh, there was some... Bread crumbs also added to our meatloaf recipe, but it didn't get added in the initial beginning. But there was some bread crumbs, if you're wondering. Uh, but again, in the show notes below, all that will be there. So we're going to mix this, and now we're going to check it out. Rub this on our uh, product, our meatloaf, and let it cook just a little longer. Let's see how that meatloaf looks, actually. Looks amazing. Did have a little bit of a crater develop there. Uh, but for the most part, it looks beautiful. We're going to go ahead and add this uh, new seasoning on top of it. It smells great, too, by the way. I can't wait. I just want to eat it. I, I don't want to look at it no more. <laughs> so let's go ahead and add this. This is some amazing, amazing uh, sauce. It's going to add great flavor. Go ahead and put that right in the Grand Canyon there. How about that? What do you think of that? Comment below, what do you think of that? Well, man, look at that. Go ahead and that just looks amazing. Come out beautiful. So we're going to go ahead and cut into this. Love meatloaf. Look at that. Just cut a piece off there. Let me go ahead and give you a piece. See how what you think. That thing just falling apart there. It smells amazing. I can smell it from here. So there it is. There is the smoked meatloaf. Mashed potatoes on the side. Let's go ahead and see how this tastes. Man, that is an amazing piece of meatloaf right there. I love it. Uh, you ought to try it at home. If you haven't, you can smoke it on whatever smoker you have. Pellet grill, it don't matter. What did you think? I thought it was really good. It being on a smoke grill, I really prefer it being smoked rather than being in the oven. Yeah, I agree. I think I, I just I am a fan of smoking. That's what we are here at Oki Smoking. If it ain't smoked, it ain't food. I really think you should give it a try. I hope to see you in the next video. Be sure and like and subscribe. 
You have a good day. Going for a second bite. Mm. Super delicious.